Thank you, all may be seated. Your Honor, Klein People versus Ethan Crumley, case number 2022-279-506-FC. Thank you, appearances for the record. Karen McDonald on behalf of the people. Thank you, Mark Keast on behalf of the people. David Williams on behalf of the people. Hello, Michelle Lawson on behalf of the defendant. Amy Hopp on behalf of the people. Thank you. You may all be seated. That being said, people, you may call your next witness. And for the media that's in the courtroom, it's my understanding that the next witness is a minor. Please do not, again, record or photograph this individual. Thank you. With that being said, please approach the witness stand. Your Honor, the people call Keegan Gregory. Thank you. And Mr. Gregory, you're going to stand in the witness box. You're then going to face my clerk. She's going to swear you in, okay? Okay. Thank you. Please raise your right hand. Under penalty of perjury, do you swear or affirm that the statements you're about to make to this court will be the whole truth? Yes. Thank you. Please have a seat. And Mr. Gregory, how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen? Mm -hmm. Do you know the difference between telling the truth and a lie? Yes. If I said that I had on a pink robe right now, would that be a truth or a lie? Lie. Thank you. And you promised to tell the truth on the record this morning? Yes. Thank you. If you could, just keep your, I know this is very sensitive, but if you could, please just keep your voice up for me and try to speak like you're speaking to someone at the very back of the courtroom. You can't do any uh-uhs or uh-huhs. Everything has to be verbal, okay? Okay. Thank you. People, your witness. Thank you. Good morning, Keegan. Good morning. Okay. Um, how old are you currently? Sixteen. And where did you end your last school year? Where did you attend? Oxford High School. And how, how long have you been attending Oxford schools? Um, since kindergarten. Okay. I, I, we're going to have to get your voice up just a little bit, okay? okay. <clears throat> I know your family sitting in the courtroom. Pretend like you're, you're talking to them. And were you at Oxford High School on November 30th, 2021? Yes. What grade were you in then? Ninth. Ninth? Okay. So... You were a freshman, which means you were probably only attending that actual building probably for a few months, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you remember November 30th, 2021? Yes. All right. Um, I want to take you to around 1230 that day. Uh, do you remember what you were doing? Uh, I was walking with my friends back from lunch. You just have to speak up just a little bit. I was walking back from lunch. Okay, and um, if you see the map up there, uh, where where were you having lunch? In the commons. Okay, where the red dot is? Yes. All right. Kian, how many friends were you walking with? I think two. And you were on your way to what class? What hour, if you remember? Uh, fifth. Okay, and which which way did you go to your class from the commons? Mark will, will move the dot when you tell him where you, where you were. And thank you. To be clear, the individual that's uh, recording this, you are only showing the television. Is that I'm correct? Showing the, yes, sir. Thank you. I just want to be clear. You may continue. Um, down the like middle right hallway. Right there? Yep. Okay. And how far did you go? Where did you end up? I went all the way down and then down the 400. And then where did you go? I started walking to the right with my friends. Okay. To the right, and then I split up from them and turned around because my class was the other way. Okay, and where, what classroom were you headed towards? Miss Schwartz. And where, where is that on the? What do you remember? What, what, the number of the classroom is? Two forty-five. Okay, so right about there. Yeah. Okay, and you, did you make it to the classroom? No. What did you do? I first? stopped to use the bathroom. Which bathroom? Um, right there? That one right there. Near door six? Yes. Okay. And when you went into the bathroom, was there anything unusual going on in the hallways? No. What was going on in the hallways? Passing time? Yes. Okay. And when you got into the bathroom, what happened? I was using the bathroom mm -hmm. and heard shots. All right. When you heard shots, what did the, that sound like? really loud. Did you immediately think it was a, a gun? 
No, I didn't believe it at first. What did you think it was? I didn't know what to think okay. until I peeked out and saw people running. So you actually opened the door and looked in the hallway? Yes. And you saw them running? Yes. Did you hear anybody, were they screaming, were they yelling, was anything going on? Yeah, screaming and yelling. Okay, and then what did you think? Um, that they were, it was a gunshots. Okay, so what did you think, Keaton? Um, I kind of went back into the bathroom in, like, shock, not okay. wanting to believe it. And Keegan, I don't know if I asked you this, but how old were you uh, on that day? About 15. Okay. Uh, you went back into the bathroom. Was anyone else in the bathroom with you? Yes. And you now know that person was who? Justin Schilling. Okay. Did you know his name at the time? No. All right. Did you see him when you went into the bathroom? No. Did you see him when you looked out in the hall and came back? When I came back in, he was outside of the stall. And what did he do? He told me to come in the stall with him. Okay. Justin's older than you, correct? Yes. Had you ever seen him before? Yes. Tell, tell the court wh where you had seen him before. Um, when I was a freshman going into our like day where they would show us around the school, so just a two, yeah. three months before? Yeah. Okay. He was um, one of the seniors that was showing the incoming freshmen around the school and helping guide them. What did you, what do you remember about him? Um, I remember he sat with me and my friends in this group and he was giving us smarties and just laughing and positive. Okay. So he was one of the seniors that was nice. Yeah, and helping out. Okay. But you didn't remember his name? No. All right. Um, at the time, you were a few inches shorter, I think, correct? Yes. All right. And what, what's Justin's size? He was a lot taller than me. Okay. Uh, so he says, come into the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show a picture of that bathroom, but okay. I'm not going to show anything. Um, there's, there's no evidence of somebody being injured. We've, we've cropped it. Okay. Is that the bathroom? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the record should reflect we've, we've entered this photo, but it contained the, um, the, the spot where Justin was, was shot. So we've, we've cropped that out. Now, he had, I'm sorry, before you move on, uh, for the record, which exhibit number is this? 61. 61. Thank, thank you. Uh, when, you where, when you say he said come into the stall, wh which stall? The larger handicap one. Okay, so this this one right there? Yep. Okay, and what did you do, Keegan? I went in the stall. Okay. What happened after that? I squatted on the toilet. Why did, why did you do that? Um, so he couldn't see my feet. Did Justin tell you to do that? Yes. Okay. So Justin told you to get out on the toilet and, and just crunch, squat down so that your feet weren't visible under the stall? Yes. But what about, where did Justin stand? Um, the post to the left side of the door, where his feet were not showing, he stood behind that. Okay, so was he facing you, or was he facing, was his back to you when he was standing there? Uh, I think his back, I think he was facing toward the door. Okay. For most of it. Okay, and what, did, what did Justin say to you, if anything? Um, nothing for a while, we were on our phones. Okay. Did you hear anything at this point? It went quiet okay. for a while. And Keegan, you just told me you were on your phone, right? Mm hmm And one of the things that you were doing is texting your, your family, correct? Yes. And you have a group chat, correct? Yes. Okay. Is, if you look up on the screen, is that your family group chat? Yes. Okay. And what, what is the group chat? What was it called then? The fam. The fam, okay. Um, all of the writing in, on the left in caps, that's you? Yes. Okay. Um, would you like me to read that, or would, do you want to read what you wrote? No, uh, you can read. Okay. So, it... Okay, so at 12.52, the first text is help. And then gunshots, and then gun, and then I'm hiding in the bathroom, 
and then, oh my God, and then help, and then mom. And by this time, this is all in that first minute, 12.52. Then they're right here. Right outside the bathroom. So that's all in the first minute. What were you trying to do? Stay quiet. With the text messages. Oh, I was scared. I was trying to communicate to my family. Okay. And when you said they're right here outside the bathroom, what did you mean? I heard one single shot right outside the bathroom. Extremely loud. Okay. And what did you think? Um, I don't know what to, I didn't know what to think of it. I was okay. scared. And at some point, your dad responds to you, still in the first minute. What does he say? He says, just stay down. We can't come to you, but just stay down, quiet and calm. This is now 12.53, and you write, I'm, ter I'm terrified. Yeah. <clears throat> At this point, was it just still you and Justin in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. Twelve fifty three. Dad says that. Then you say I'm terrified. At twelve fifty three again, you say, "Oh my God." Your dad says, "Stay down and calm. You're going to be fine. We love you." The next minute, twelve fifty four, Dad says, "You there? Anything happening? Has it stopped?" He can. Who is on this text thread? Your mom, your dad, and who else? My two sisters. How old were your two sisters in November, on November 30th, 2021? Um, one was in eighth grade and one was in seventh. Okay. So it's you, your seventh grade sister, your eighth grade sister, and your mom and your dad. Yeah. Okay. I think my little brother on his iPad is in there too, but... Okay. Yeah. We, we, we hopefully safely can say he, he was not reading these text messages. Okay. Um, at 12.54, you say, someone in here. What were you talking talk, talk to me about that. Uh, we heard someone walk in. Okay. Did you, have, what, did, what exactly did you hear? Um, the door open and footsteps. Did it sound like one person or more than one person? One. Okay. Did you look out to see who it was? No. At 12.55, you say, he's in the bathroom. You're talking about that person, correct? Yes. Okay. Your dad says, stay down and don't move or engage. We love you. <coughs> and then at 12.56, you say, he saw us. When... What happened that made you text that? Uh, he kicked the door and it swung open. Okay. So at that moment, is that the first time you actually saw that individual? Yes. When you say he kicked the door in, how hard did he kick it? Um, decent, not super hard, but... Okay. And did he, what did he do when he kicked the door in? Just stared at us. Did he say anything? I don't remember exactly. Did you say anything? I, I don't remember exactly. Okay. Do you remember if Justin said anything? I'm pretty sure we all stayed quiet. Okay. And did he stay there with you, or did he eventually leave the stall? Um, he just stared for a second and then walked out. So that individual that did that, had you ever seen him before? No. You, you didn't know who he was? No. Okay. You text your family, I'm with one other person. Did you mean Justin? Yes. He saw us, and we are just standing here. Are you texting that when he's still in the stall? Or no. Or after he leaves? He walked out. Okay. And then Dad responds, just stay calm. Is he gone? Right? Mm-hmm. So was that a yes? Yeah, that's yes. Thank you. And you respond, no. He's standing here. I see the gun. Oh, my God. 
When did you see the gun? I first saw it when he kicked the door open. And where was he holding it? On his side. Okay. So he was holding it like this with his arm down? Yes. Okay. But you did see it? Yes. Did he point it at you? No. Okay. Dad says again, okay, stay calm. What bathroom? Where are you exactly? I'll call. That's at 12.59. Now, Keegan, the next time you text your family is 101. So by that time, by 12.59, we know you will, you will have been in the bathroom for about seven minutes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I know this is hard, but can you tell the court what happened from 12.59 to 101? Um, he came back in. The shooter? Yes. Okay. Told me to stay put and for Justin to come out of the stall with him. Okay. I want to back up a bit. Was there a point where Justin was giving you any other directions? Yes. What was he saying to you? Um, before, this was before the shooter kicked open the stall. When we heard the shot close, he told me that when we hear them further away, we're going to run. And he kind of mouthed it and signaled. Okay. So that was his basically telling, telling you how to escape? Yes. Okay. And did you say anything back to Justin? I said okay. I kind of nodded my head. Okay. And so after you heard the shooter come in, um, at some point, were you trying, was Justin trying to understand if he was still there? Yes. When did that occur? He, um, after he kicked open the door and he walked back out and he was just in the bathroom. And at this point you can't see him, but you know he's still there? Yes. Okay. And what did Justin do? He took out his phone camera and he held his phone down um, so that at an angle so that I could see if his feet were still there. Okay, so there's the bathroom. You're crouching on the toilet. Mm -hmm. He's Sorry, standing yes. behind that partition. Where did he put his phone? I think it was kind of to the left like of right, the pool. Yes. Right down there? Okay. And he put his camera on so that you could see the image that it, it was pointing at? Yes. And he said to you what? Um, he kind of mouthed, is he still there? And what did you say? I couldn't tell. Okay. So what did he do? He kind of bent his head over to see his feet, and then he mouthed to me that he's still there. Okay. And then what happened? We just stayed quiet. How long was it? I don't know exactly, but it felt like forever. Okay. And at some point, the shooter came back into the stall, correct? Yes. Keegan, both times when you saw him, did he have a gun? Yes. Was he nervous? Did he seem nervous? No. Did he seem panicked? No. Did he seem emotional? No. Was he crying? No. Were you or Justin aggressive in any way? No. Were you trying to defend yourself? No. Did you ever put your hands on him? No. Did you ever lunge toward him? No. How would you describe his demeanor, what he seemed like? Um, kind of blank, kind of cold. Okay. He comes back in the stall, and what does he do for you? Uh, he told me to stay put and for Justin to come out with him. And what did Justin do? He went out with him. Okay. Did the stall, did the, the door close at that point? No. So this, the stall's open, the door, yes. and you're still on the toilet crouching? Yes. Okay. And what, what happens next, Keegan? Um, it was quiet for a second, and then I heard a shot. And what did that sound like? It's extremely loud. At this point, it was two or three feet away from you? Yes. Okay. Keegan, what did you think when that happened? Um... I kind of didn't know what to think. I didn't, my mind wasn't really believing that it happened. Okay. What did, what, what, how, how long before you saw the shooter again? 
Um, just, I don't know exactly, but it wasn't long after that shot he came back in. After he told Keegan, told Justin to leave, did you hear Justin say anything? I don't remember. Okay. But Justin did as he asked? Yes. He didn't try to struggle or fight? No. Okay. At some point he comes back into the stall? Yes. And what, what does he do? He tells me to come out with him. And how does he, does he say it to you or does he motion you? I think he motioned, I don't, I don't remember exactly. And Keegan, at some point you looked at the shooter and said, please. Yes, I think so. Okay. Do you remember when that was? Uh, I think it was when me and Justin were just waiting in there. He came in and you said, please. Yes. And what did you mean? I don't know. I was scared. What did he do when he was in the cell? He motioned you out. And where was the gun? On his side. Okay. He's holding it down on his side? Yes. All right. And Keegan, what did you do after that? I went out with him. Okay. And what did he, what, did he tell you to do anything? Uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly. Um, but to go over, he kind of signaled me to go over by Justin's body. So let's talk about that. What did you see when you came out of the stall? Justin, spotty, in a pool of blood. Was he laying face up or face down? I don't remember exactly. Okay. Do you remember where that blood was in relation to his body? Uh, around his head. Okay. And the shooter tells you to do what? Uh, kind of signals me to go over by him, by his body. And what did you do? Um... When he sig when he moved the gun away from me his side kind of, I ran behind his back and out the door. Okay. Why did you do that? Um, because I think when I saw his body I realized that if I stayed I was gonna die. Okay. This is all happening between twelve fifty nine and one oh one when you finally texted your parents, correct? Yes. Okay. What did you do? after you ran? What, what did you see when you got outside? Um, I recall seeing another body with someone bent over it. And where was that on the map, if we can pull that up? I think it was, um, it was around a corner just outside of the courtyard, kind of over there. Okay. Keegan, at some point, did you did you learn who that was? Yes. And who was it? Tate. Okay. And what did you what did you do at this point? I just kept running as fast as I could. And what what were you trying to do? Um, make as many turns as I could so that if he was chasing me, I'd lose him. Okay. And you eventually ended up in the office. Yes. And did you see anybody? Yes. Who'd you see? I ran, and there was an officer with a gun who kind of guided me to go outside. And did you do that? Yes. And how long were you outside, if you know? Um, maybe a minute. It wasn't very long. Okay. I want to go back to the text thread. So at 12, at 101, you texted... I just watched him kill someone. He put me up against the wall, and I ran. I made it to the office. And that's at 103, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Above that, is that mom? Yes. Oh, my God, Keegan, stay calm. Love you. Okay. When did you, where were you at 103? Um, that was when I made it back to the office. Okay, because somebody came out and got you, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, Keegan, I'd like to play the video surveillance of you leaving the bathroom and, and what happened after. Is, is that okay? Yes. Okay. Is that you, Keegan? Yes. And we Up say at the top right? 
Thank you. He's turning, are you turning into the bathroom right now? Yes. Okay, so he has a backpack on and you had like red pajama bottoms? Yes. Why did you have pajama bottoms? I don't know. Okay. Comfortable. Uh, so you went into the bathroom. That's you going in, correct? Yes. Okay. And then we cut images out and put together just just images of you. Who is that, Keegan? The shooter. Okay. And he's going into the bathroom where you and Justin were? Yes. Okay. You know, this is collapsed the time because we know it was about eight minutes you were in that bathroom. Yes. Do you know who that student was? No. Okay. No, this is Kim Potts, who, did you know her at the time? No. Okay, she works for the school. She opened the bathroom door. I want to stop here for a second. The bathroom door, if you open it, you would see a wall, correct? Yes. Okay, and then you have to turn another corner to see the photo that we showed you. Yes. Okay. Does that make sense, Your Honor? Yes. Okay. Is that you, Keegan? Yes. You're, you're running as fast as you possibly can? Yes. And you didn't go the most direct way. Why is that? To lose him, hopefully. Did you know if he was behind you or not? No. Did you look, look to see? No. Is that you outside? Yes. Okay. Do you remember what you saw when you went outside? What were you? I, I don't know. And that's Mr. Ejack? Yes. And he comes and gets to you, right? Yes. Okay. And then you go to the office? Yes. And that's when you text your family? Yes. How long were you in the office that day? Hours. And how did you get home? The police drove me. So much later they drove you home? Yeah. Okay. Keegan, on that day, you said you didn't know Justin's name? No. Okay. And eventually did you learn it? Yes. And how did you learn it? My friend sent me a photo and asked if that was him. And you eventually learned that, that he was he was killed. Yes. And do you remember when you learned that? A while later. I think my mom told me. Okay. I've asked you before how you felt during that experience. And you said a lot of different things, but how can you sum up how you were feeling then? When exactly? In the bathroom and trying to escape. Oh. Um, terrified, kind of blank. I remember I wasn't really able to breathe. I was kind of like hyperventilating, like scared. I'm not going to ask you how you feel now or how long it took before you realized what had happened to you. Okay. Safe to say you were in shock for some time, correct? Yeah, a long time. Okay. And do you remember the first time you sort of broke down? Um, I think it was weeks after. I saw a post about Justin, and it kind of clicked. And that day, when did you finally see your parents? Uh, when I, the, after the cops drove me home, my parents were there waiting for me. All right. 
the last thing I'm going to ask you, Keegan, is you have a tattoo on your arm. Yes. Can you tell the court what it is? It's um, the date in Roman numerals with four hearts for the lives lost, and then a red one with a halo for Justin. And why is why is the one for Justin red with a halo? Um, because I kind of thought of it as if he didn't die in there, then I'd be dead right now. Nothing further. Thank you. Cross examination. Please keep the court's comments in mind. Your Honor, we have no questions for Mr. Gregory and no objection to his being excused at this time. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You may step down. That being said, we're going to take about a 10 minute break. Thank you, Judge. Uh, with that being said, if everyone in the courtroom could please remain seated while the deputies take the defendant back downstairs. Everyone in the courtroom, please remain seated until the defendant has exited the courtroom.